and we're back. Oh, you know what? Never mind, Papyrus. Okay, kid, whatever. Pacifist Run already adds, like, another hour or two to the game. Yeah, because you gotta be really careful. Sure, sure, Sans, we'll hang out this time. extra areas and then there's all the phone stuff and battles take longer I mean I could spend another extra extra three hours just trying to explore all the content on just this run let alone any of the neutral stuff let alone let alone just the all the stuff you can find uniquely in this game god damn it sans but yeah. I need some burger thanks. I think the if this game has anything to say, especially in the the evil run, the despicable run, I think it's uh, I think the idea is that you know maybe there's all this stuff. But maybe you don't have to find all of it and just put everyone through it over and over again. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sans. So, Sans. I'll be fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's we can, that we can agree on. story. Yeah. Technically, no. gone. You didn't have to, Sans. Sure, I'll take care of that. But I'm probably going to be going in about 10 minutes or so. Alright. I guess I'll just have to run this on my own. Yeah, until I return. Well, if anyone returns. Yeah, so I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to have to find the 
trying to find an article because the one I was going to do I might use for the essay, but it's 29 page PDF. So. Not particularly wanting to use it. He loves to appear without moving. Car magazines. All right. Oh. That was also a thing. Everyone's just kind of being kind of weird at me. <laughs> when you think about it. Hello again, Sans. Let's actually get through Waterfall now, but this time without killing a soul. This time with an old tutu. Later, Pixel Paladin. Let's put away the manly bandana. And this, over here, is just a thing that tells you about where the old tutu is. I don't know, things were a lot easier when it was just about survival, now it's about kind of managing everybody too. The setup for Undyne here is completely different from how her character's scenes play out in any other part of the game. Because here it's just kind of very standard, ominous, one character speaking. The answer to that question, Jerry Rig, is yes. Sort of. Well, yes. I'm just gonna try walking the other way now. disappearing act. wonder if she's got an ability for that. Probably exist, monster kid. Well, I guess I am a bad guy. Or I was. But hey, no kills yet, no EXP, no execution points. Go ahead and do all this again. Oh good, it's my favorite. It's everybody's favorite waterfall monster. Uh, 
Uh, nope. By favorite, I mean get out of here. Goodbye, Aaron. You and your goodbye to you and your winking. Zarhan, we did fight him last time. We just also killed him very quickly, if I recall. This is a lovely sign. But that sign also has another kind of significance that I'm not sure if it's intentional, but it's also pretty interesting. But we'll get that after the quiche. Oh, you're talking about you're talking about Sans. I was talking about Aaron. Never mind, Zarhan. So you can solve this puzzle a different way, and that sign's actually good for lining up. Yep, I found the quiche in a previous marathon. In the previous uh, neutral run, yeah. I didn't even use it, really. I didn't really need it. But I found it. Just in case. It's funny that he still finds your number the normal way, whether you become his friend or not. It's like, apparently we just forgot to give him our number when he gave us his? Yeah, clearly doesn't matter. I'm clearly wearing a dusty tutu. Hello, Bliv. Ugh. Welcome to the land of the living. Yeah, I don't know if that's a relative term, but yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm playing Undertale, and I am trying to be a nice guy this time. Uh, did you already do the mean stuff? I I did the <laughs> I did the ambivalent stuff. Oh, okay. You you did the I don't give a shit mode. Yep, I did the neutral run. Uh. Oh, Obi, you're here. Hey, it's it's my boy Washua. Good. I'm gonna drop out for now. See ya, Dread. Be back later. Later. Washua's friends with Little Bird. Goodbye. Go, little bird, and teach a dinosaur to ride a ball. The War of Humans and Monsters. Oh, okay, we'll just... yeah. Monster and human souls, that whole politics around that, it's kind of weird. That monsters in general are just kind of weak compared to humans. This is a underground full of relative weaklings. Oh, frickin' window! Okay, there we go. That was close. To explain Oblivious, my computer is doing a thing where it forgets to keep context on my main window like the game window and tries to go back to desktop and that was the worst time for it to happen oh that that's quite odd i don't think i've run into that in quite some time it's something it's started doing recently like where it'll just randomly minimize out of a game no or not something? not minimize it'll it'll just change context i've got i've got it playing in windowed mode right now 
So it'll I just, mean, it'll just no. lose context and go like... The context will technically be on the desktop, but not much will change other than the the window isn't highlighted. I I guess I guess minimize was was the the wrong word I was looking for. Yeah. It switches the active window. Uh, ah shit! All I did was stagger it. Uh. I'm trying to trying to wake myself up with my own war against monsters. <laughs> so I'm I'm giving myself a warm up with a Rathian and Monster Hunter. Uh, that's an entirely different run in under in Undertale. Well, I I know you can I know you can fight the uh, the Snow Drake in Undertale. Um. The, the snow drake well a, a snow drake i yeah. guess there is a there is a monster called snow drake yeah um i i don't actually know if there are any other dragons or wyverns in uh in undertale there's a couple <laughs> sands <laughs> oh it's sands uh, Thankfully, it scrubs off real easy. Oh, hey, I wounded its head. Aren't I proud of myself? Th this is this is why I don't I don't bother with a uh, with most uh, asshole runs in games because I'm enough of that in other games. Fair enough. Like in Monster Hunter, you exclusively kill monsters. It's nothing but boss fights. Well, I, I, I guess you can you can capture them, but I, I doubt that that's really a nice guy option. Hmm. Seeing as how you still get parts from the creature. Unfortunate implications. Yeah. Taking the ballet shoes. Not going to use them, but we're going to take them. It's uh, still worth money at the Tim shop. Tim, hello, Tim. hello, Papyrus. What did you screw up this time? <laughs> He's mad that his mixtape didn't go so well. Set the PC on fire. That's a reference to a lovely piece of fan content <laughs> yes it's quite amusing it would obviously change your da god damn it <laughs> being friends with everyone is easy all you have to do is hmm, be honest and assume your friends are telepathic He's not wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's actually correct. Mm. That's. Mm. Oh, I made myself yeah. laugh while drinking. That was not a good idea. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> and now, best character. And by best, I mean the one that everyone kind of forgets about. Goodbye. <laughs> Basically just just a bag of tropes floating in the water. Drawn in an MS paint. When all else fails, launch a cat rocket at something. What? <laughs> that that that's a thing you can do in Monster Hunter. You can 
You can send your feline companions to launch an ex <laughs> deliver themselves via explosive rocket. It, it's kind of awesome. Okay, then. And now to launch a music career. I believe in you, Spud. We hum a funky tune. Suddenly... I know to... I know to yeah. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. Hooray! <laughs> the seats are sold out. <laughs> the crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. How scandalous. Constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all too much. Uh Sharon thinks about her future. You and China have come so far, but it's time. <laughs> Final twos. Oh gosh, I got hit. Twice. And we win. Yay. Uh, we gotta get a tr great treasure, too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got one too many dogs. Deploy. It didn't look like the final toot hurt me because I had I still had my in sleep bonus. All right, we got dog residue. Time to go. Infinite healing, go. I don't know about infinite healing, but okay. Well, it it comes at a price, you know, it, <laughs> infinite item clutter. Yeah, I I just yesterday, uh, my mom was is playing through this part of the game, and she, uh, I helped her with the music puzzle, and uh, I had to spend about four minutes trying to explain how dog residue was kind of useful technically. It, yeah, I, I guess I guess I should have put a big asterisk next to it. It says technically infinite healing. Yeah, it's it's a really really obscure, especially for how difficult or how much difficulty people tend to have. Even though I found it, I was able to actually solve it without looking it up the first time. I was actually able to to pick out the notes. Just a little wiggle to admire the castle. Nah, we don't need an umbrella. It's not even rain. Or something. <clears throat> Thanks, kid. Again. I guess. <laughs> Just yeah, you know, maybe maybe work on that oversized head falling on your face thing.
The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. That's... that's interesting. Well, the, the the raindrops do correlate to the piano, but it's like in a different different range or different key. It's it's very confusing. Oh, freaking window again. Well, what it is what it what it is if you didn't give the statue an umbrella was whatever I got last time. All right, let's see if we can actually no-hit this one. And not get completely lost. Uh. I, I miss Papyrus solving the puzzle for you. I don't know about that. Well, I mean, it was funnier. Well, this is... if This really is where the game kind of steps up. You know, Undyne is the first person to really have an intent to harm you. That you can't really get around easily. Yeah, she's a persistent one. Yep. Oh boy. This uh, sequence again, that we didn't really get any answers to in the previous run. We'll go ahead and split here. 